Agassi and Buckley came here because of these peculiar lines that are etched straight along the sides of the Glen. Buckley considered these parallel lines the greatest geological mystery in Britain. All the great minds of the day, including people like Charles Darwin, would come here to try to study them. The three ledges are each 10 metres wide and tens of kilometres long. The lines run parallel and completely level. What makes them so enigmatic, so weird, is that they're so regular. I mean, they just look man-made. They look so man-made that some of the contemporaries of Buckland thought that they were created with some ancient human civilizations. The three roads had three different purposes. One was for humans, one was for horse-drawn carriages, and the other was for livestock. When Agassi studied them, he realized they weren't obsolete highways. To him, these inscrutable features screamed ice. He believed he knew what happened. During the Ice Age, a glacier comes down from the mountains and blocks the mouth of Glen Roy and the river that runs through it. Behind this wall of ice, a lake slowly forms. The water level rises to a certain level. For hundreds of years, waves batter the lakeside, eroding it and creating a flat shoreline. As it gets colder, the glacier increases in height, blocks the valley further up, and the lake level rises. Another shoreline is created higher up the valley's side. This happens three times in all. Finally, the climate warms, the glacier melts, and the lake pours out, leaving behind the strange marks on the hillside. You know, it's so clear from up here, but what's astonishing is that Agassi walked this out from down there on the ground in just a couple of days. The parallel lines of Glenroy were the abandoned shorelines of an ancient glacial lake. 